welcome to Team SNG Championship Series matchup. This is going to be Altergeist versus Crawlers. This is game two of round one. The uh, tournament table will be displayed here in just a moment. Game one of round one will be linked in the description below, along with deck profiles for both the decks featured in today's video. While you're here, leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out Team's Facebook page, link to that will be in the description below. Without further ado, here we are! Both decks have been cut and shuffled. Crawlers will be down below, Altergeist up above. Now this is a bit of a grind game, so do sp buckle yourselves in. You will be here for a little while. Um, the game is a much more controlled variant than the previous matchup, which was sort of OTK, one-hit wonder type deck. I do believe Altergeist won that die roll, so they will be going first. Yep, here we are with the normal summon of Marionetter. We will be searching out the Altergeist protocol and setting that directly to the field. So Altergeist is a much more control variant. As I do state in the deck profile for this deck, it is a control deck with elements of a combo deck. And this is a typical opening. You're going to see a normal summon and a lot of sets. So there are four traps, one of which we do know is the Altergeist protocol, which is the one in the middle. Alright, and draw for turn for the Crawlers. Crawlers, much slower paced deck, flip summoning, flip based. Typical opening for them, you will see in just a moment, is kind of a T-setting pass. So here we are, just checking traps on the back row for Altergeist. There we go, there's that T-set we talked about. And, uh, and it's been passed back over to Altergeist. Draw for turn. Checking the extra deck. Oh, no, maybe not checking the extra deck. Making a decision here. Oh yeah, checking the extra deck. Seeing what options uh, are available to him in the extra deck. Uh, the one problem with Altergeist, you've always got to keep track of which is which. Uh, no attack. A little nervous about monsters, knowing he is facing a flip-based deck. Maybe doesn't want to flip that monster. Um, so there we go, set another monster, and i thinking about it a bit. Making decisions whether or not to flip his monster now. Checking that extra deck as well. All Crawlers does have quite good options out of the extra deck. They have the Link to Subterra monster that will give them the ability to search out a flip monster and special summon a flip monster. Um, they do have lots of different options available to them in the extra deck, but they are a slower paced deck due to their flip mechanic. And another trap has been set. Crawlers will have a hard time playing through five back row. Uh, Marionetter still in defense. Clearly Altergeist isn't seeing any of its monsters. Uh, otherwise we would have probably seen Meliuseek or something by now. Oh, there we go. We're activating the field spell. World Legacy in Shadow, which will gain all the Crawler's 300 attack and defense, and will also allow you to special summon a level 2 or lower insect monster from your hand in face up attack or defense position. Confirming that the Crawler has the secondary effect to swarm the field with two extra monsters if it is popped by card effect. Uh, debating now uh, with the flip of Crawler Receptor. Uh, I am getting a search into my deck looking for a Crawler monster to add to the hand. Uh, I was debating on getting Deus Ex Crawler at this point, but I decided I would actually be getting Deus Ex Axon. The reason for this is that Deus Ex Axon is back row removal. When it flips face up, it acts as MST and lets you pop something off your opponent's side of the field. Seeing as we are playing a back row heavy deck, the back row removal is really important. And there it is flipping the Gleal, which would normally be our method of getting our Deus X Crawler onto the board. 
Uh, I do believe that is possibly what has actually been set now. So we may have our Deus Ex Crawler on board in face down defense, which is fantastic, because Deus Ex Crawler, when flipped face up, acts as a skill drain. And here comes down that Subterra Behemoth Fiendus that we talked about earlier. Which will allow me to send a flip monster from the deck to the grave and special summon a monster from your hand in face down defense to zone this card points to. Uh, unfortunately, there he is, the spoofing. Sending back your the marionetter, I believe, to search multifigure. Uh, activating Subterra Behemoth Fiendus' effect. Just having a quick little read. Yep, that is, uh, that is my duck's hat. And, oh, met with Solemn Strike. First life point damage done in the duel. Um, bit of an unconventional way to do life point damage, but hey. 1,500 points of damage is 1,500 points of damage. That's a lot of damage. Not really. Um, there was a discussion at this point as to whether or not Multifaker could be activated to the Solemn Strike. We kind of went with the ruling it can't because of the spell speed of the counter trap. But since this was recorded, we have actually gone back and looked at the ruling. And theoretically, Multifaker can activate... Uh, after Solemn Strike, because it's not activating to as a chain to the trap, but it's activating in its own separate chain because the trap was activated. So, little ruling update for you. Uh, because I control two traps or two spell traps, uh, Typhoon is a is live. So Typhoon will be used to pop the field spell if I remember correctly. Just having a bit of a, a read, make sure that we're, we're doing this as accurately as we can for all you guys out there. There we go, so there goes the field spell. Uh, and in chain, the multifaker. Chaining to the multifaker summon is World Legacy Pawns, which will let me flip my face down Deus Ex Crawler, which then acts as a skill drain, turning off multifaker special summon effect. So... I'm not, we, we did sort of have a debate as to how this would actually work with the with the chains resolving, but because of the way Multifaker is summoned and then its effect is chained to special summon from the deck, then World Legacy Pawns, because that chain goes in reverse, the Deus Ex Crawler's flip effect, which is actually just a blanket of board effect, is live before Multifaker can use his effect. So, Multifaker doesn't get his special summon. Um, again, not totally positive of how that ruling would work. If you are, leave it in the comments down below. I'm always happy to learn. But the way we ended up ruling it is because of the way this all works out. Uh, Multifaker doesn't get his search. There it goes though. It's off the field. Spoofing sending it back to allow us to search... I do believe a Meluseek. Yep, there it is. There's the Meluseek. Uh, Meluseek is going to be linked off for a Link Karibo. Uh, Meluseek was the normal summon for that turn, by the way. Uh, linked off for Link Karibo, allowing us to search our deck when Meluseek hits the grave. Just having a, a read of the World Legacy Pawns, trying to figure out if there's any way he can get past the Deus Ex Crawler. Uh, here comes one of my favorite cards in the Crawler deck, the World Legacy Survivor. What this does is you excavate the top five cards of your deck, and you add either a World Legacy card or a Crawler. So there it is, a uh, Generator Har, Crawler Ramvir, another copy of Survivor, a copy of shadows and a copy of crawler spine so 
We have several options. Uh, I take the field spell. World Legacy in the Shadows. Because it is just such a good card for the Crawler matchup. And uh, there it is, activated. And we're sitting on this skill drain like effect of, uh, of Deus Ex Crawler. I could theoretically turn him into attack and, uh, and, and run over the Link Karibo. I believe I don't. Mostly, I think it's because I'm nervous about the back row. I don't know what a lot of it is. I do know Protocol is still in the middle, but outside of that, I don't really know much of anything. Uh, so I special summon one monster in face down defense, and I summon or set one monster in face down defense. So we have two crawlers face down, ready to go. We do have World Legacy Palms, which will allow us to activate effects on our opponent's turn. Uh, again, just having a read of that, trying to make sure that uh, the understanding is mutual between the two of us. Uh, there it is. Crackdown is, uh, has been chained to take the Deus Ex Crawler. Uh, the World Legacy Pawns is then chained to flip the Axon. However, upon discussion, we realized that the Axon would have its flip effect go off as a separate chain, meaning the Deus Ex Crawler's blanket skill drain, uh, which isn't an activated effect, would actually negate the Axon's effect turning off um, Crawler Axon's ability to pop the Crackdown. So, Deus Ex Crawler does remain taken, Axon remains face up, and now the skill drain has actually been flipped 180 degrees, turning off all monster effects on the Crawler side of the field. We did have a bit of a laugh about this, saying that Crawlers really aren't designed to beat their own boss monster. They do have a hard time dealing with it. So, uh, I do believe that this was sort of... Uh, the first step that Alter Guys took towards completely running over this particular duel. There's the multi faker in chain to the crackdown, which will then, I believe, search out Silquitus, if I remember correctly. Yep, there it is. There comes the silk. Meaning that the crawler field is will slowly be dismantled. Uh, Silk just effect activated. I believe to send back the multi faker and bounce the face down crawler. Uh, just double checking that protocol. This was all in the end phase as well, so that's uh, of the crawler's turn, so draw phase for the altergeists. Activation of Altergeist Protocol, Chain Multifaker, Special Summon Multifaker, Multifaker's effect will go off, allowing us to Special Summon Marionetter straight from the deck. Uh, at this point, I do believe he is thinking about possibly going for that Boral Sword in his extra deck. Uh, some people might comment in a minute, I do believe Boral Sword does get dropped in a moment. Oh, yes, that's right, Marionetter's effect to send the Altergeist Protocol, special summoning back the Meluseek. And he's just checking his extra deck. He won't actually find his Boral Sword in there. Uh, he does have access to Boral Sword, but so does the Crawler deck, and I only have one copy, so... We have to share the cards like that, and I was going to do some editing to make it all work. Um, however, at no point did two Boral Swords ever show up during this whole tournament, so uh, I do believe a Boral Sword is about to be dropped on me. Uh, just doing some math, I think. Yep, there is the Socrates effect. Bouncing back Marionetter and the Axon. And the Marionetter is now normal summon to set a Altergeist Speller Trap directly from the deck. Uh, 
and I believe that was a manifestation that was just set. Okay, and uh, just checking that extra deck again. Uh, as I say, I do believe Borosaur does come down here at some point, which would give him game. Thinking going on. Typical in these sort of matchups where you do have to think about what you're going to do. Alright, so Melusik, Multifaker, Sokotus. I thought about the Link Karibo, but I do believe he uses Deus Ex Crawler instead. Just trying to make a decision what his fourth material is going to be, I think. No, he's left the Sokotus. He's taking the Deus Ex Crawler and the Link Karibo, so Multifaker, Melusik, Deus Ex Crawler, Link Karibo all together to make Boral Sword! Boral Sword will attack, Marionetta will attack, Silk will attack, Boral Sword turns Silk to defense and uh, then will attack directly for game. So that's it, round one has gone to Altergeist. Uh, as you can see, we very quickly cleaned up and uh, and dealt with with that. Uh, I must say that is the uh, the fastest reset of a of a round I've ever actually seen live. But here we go, round two. Uh, I believe Crawler goes first, as really they should. If I remember correctly, though, there was a bit of a brickage issue for the Crawler deck. Uh, there, that sort of answers your question, the fact that that World Legacy Survivor has been activated straight away. Uh, we've seen World Legacy Pawns, Monstrosity, and Ranvir, I believe that is, all at once. Uh, we're taking Pawns because Pawns is so important in this matchup. Being able to interact with your opponent on their turn is an absolute must for the Crawler deck. So, Pawns has to be taken. Uh, also, we've set another card. I do believe, if I remember correctly, that is Receptor. Uh, I, we shall find out in a minute. But again, typical T set. However, setting that to the left is um, going to bite me in the butt. Mel, you seek here. Normal summoned. Uh, before entering battle phase, World Legacy Pawns is activated to flip the receptor to allow me to at least get a search for a crawler searching out the big boss monster deus ex crawler as uh, you typically would there is no siding in this tournament even though a lot of these decks could definitely benefit from a side deck uh, if I was to side against this altergeist matchup I would likely um, side in things like Royal Decree, stuff like that, uh, which actually did steal Ancient Warriors a matchup against Altergeist in the regionals a while back. Uh, sorry about the weird cut there. There was a bit of an issue it had to get dealt with, so there was a bit of a weird cut there. Um, Melusik sent off for Anima. This is why I say that Receptor placement really bit me in the butt, because Anima is able to take Receptor. There's a bit of a misplay here. We do put Anima in the main monster zone. Um, However, it should be equipped to Anima, so yeah, it, uh, there's a bit of a misplay there. It's not the end of the world, not all five of his trap, spell and trap zones get filled at any point, I don't think, so um, it just doesn't look right. Anyway, pass set to and pass back over, World Legacy Monstrosity, get that Deus Ex Crawler onto the field definitely something that we need big body at least if nothing else uh, its effect is not live though because it does need to be flipped for its effect to go live uh, setting one as well and setting another spell trap and there it is that dreaded crackdown yet again taking the deus ex crawler across the table to the other side now luckily the skill drain is not in, as I say it's not live so I don't have to worry about my own stuff being skill drained. However, that is my boss monster gone. 
Also, multi-faker drops in chain to the crackdown, allowing to special summon. Uh, there it is, Sokotus. Probably the best special summon off of multi-faker, in all honesty, because you get to bounce back your multi-faker, which gives you more advantage in the hand, um, and you can use it multiple times. And this, again, all in the end phase of the turn, of the crawler turn. Multi-faker going to be bounced back by Silk, to remove the spell, the back row spell trap. Doesn't want World Legacy Pawns being activated on him again. Uh, doesn't want me to have the ability to play on his turn so much. So again, we're in the situation where um, Boral Sword is definitely an option. He could go Link 4. Uh, he has not normal summon, so all he needs to do really is normal summon, and he could potentially have game. Oh, activating Metaverse. Okay, this is looking for the secret village of the spellcasters. Which will turn off all spells. Uh, but it also triggers the multi-faker, letting multi-faker summon out the Melu Seek. This is where we realize that Anima should have equipped Receptor. Rather than put it in the monster zone. Uh, the reason we did this is, or that we suddenly noticed this, is because of the fact that, um, yep, yeah, here it comes, the big bad Boral Sword. Just asking for my Deus Ex back. Um, so he's linked off Deus Ex, Meliusik, Multifaker, and the Anima to make Boral Sword. Meliusik's gonna grant him a search. Notice he's added the secret village and not activated it. He's not too concerned about spell traps on my side of the field. There comes down the marionetter, which will allow him to set a altergeist protocol directly to the field. Uh, it is really not looking good for Crawler. It is a bit of a shame. Crawler is a heavily viewed video on this channel. Um, I believe that Crawler has a lot more potential. It just got a really bad matchup in this. Uh, I would love to have seen it play against a few other decks. If you guys do want to see decks run the Gauntlet, which is something I can definitely get organized, we can uh, we can do that as well so that you can sort of see decks match up against all the other decks that are featured on the channel. It's definitely a project I would be willing to undertake. But, unfortunately, Altergeist is just too much for Crawler. Their access to Boral Sword and being able to use Boral Sword to go for the OTK is something else. Here is the current table. Furhire got knocked out in game one. And it's unfortunate to say, but Crawler has been knocked out in game two. So, next matchup coming up next week will be Tenyi versus Metaphys. Now, this will be a bit of a short matchup next week. Tenyi versus Metaphys. Um, there was some filming errors in it, so I do apologize for that. That being said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Do leave us a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will catch you guys at the next game.